Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can make this moving ball that changes colors as it passes through each of the lines. I made a series on introduction to creative coding and in this tutorial, we're going to focus on conditionals, specifically the if, else if, and else statements. How we're going to approach this is that first we're going to draw the ball and the lines and then we're going to move the ball and then we're going to use conditional statements to change the colors of the ball as it passes through the lines. Let's start with drawing the ball. We can use the function ellipse to draw a circle and the ellipse function takes in a total of four arguments. The first two are the x and y location of the center of the circle and then the third and the fourth are the width and the height of the circle. So instead of hard coding, I'm going to create two variables x and y i'm going to give x starting location at zero and y will be at 200 which is going to be at the center of the height okay so then i just put in x and y here and the width and the height will be at 50 pixels so i'm actually going to change the width of the canvas from 400 to 600 so that it's a little bit wider and then we're going to draw the lines i'm going to use a for loop to draw the line and i'm going to draw a total of six lines so the for loop i will start at zero if i is still less than width i want to increment i by 100 right so basically we can use the function called line and line takes in four arguments the x and y location of the first point and the x and y location of the second point that connects that line. So where are these x and y locations? What we want is what? We want the x to be changing from x equals to 0, x equals to 100, 200, 300, and so on, right? So that's what? That's the i variable here, right? So we do i, and then y will be at 0, and then i and then y will be at height. Oh, here. And there you go. So you can see that we have a total of six lines. You can actually see that there's a line at i equals to zero here as well. Now that we have the ball and we have the lines, what we want to do next is that we want to move the ball and we can use this expression x equals to x plus 3. So I want it to move 3 pixels at a time. Okay, so now the ball moves from left to right. The next thing that we want to do is that we want to actually change the colors of the ball as it passes through each of the lines. And we can do that by using conditional statements. And we're going to use the if, else if, and else statement. So what we want to do is that we want the color of the ball to be one color when x coordinate is between 0 and 100. And then we want it to change the color when x is between 100 and 200, and so on. The conditional statement will be if x is more than 0 and x is less than or equals to 100, then we want it to fill one color. So let's just start with the first one, right? And else then fill maybe yellow. So basically what I have here is an if and else statement. If x is between this first block here, the ball should be the color red. But other than that, the ball should be the color yellow. So let's see. Red, yellow. Okay, so now we got the first block, right? But we want it to actually change from yellow to something else as well. So we can use an else if statement. So else if, else if what? Else if x is more than 100 and x is less than or equals to 200, then change to another color. So I'm gonna leave it blank for now because I have the colors I wanna put in. And then we just do the same thing for x is more than 200 and x is less than or equals to 300. Fill else if 
x is more than 300 and x is less than or equals to 400, right? Then fill and else if x is more than 400 and x is less than or equals to 500. So I can actually stop here because the last block, I can just use the else statement here. Okay, so let me fill in the color like the example that I made. You don't actually have to follow the colors that I have, but if you want to, these are the colors. Ta-da! Okay, so once we have this, I also want to change the color of the background to be a little bit darker. Let's play. And there you go. You can see that now the ball changes the color as it passes through each of the lines. And you can see that it actually changes when the ball is at the center of the line. And that is because it changes when X location is at a certain point, right? And X is what? X is the middle coordinate of the center of the ball. What if you have more lines than what I have here? You know, you could have 10 lines, 20 lines, or you can change the ball to different colors. What if the ball is not moving horizontally, you know, and you can change the lines that are vertical to be horizontal or maybe even diagonal? And what if instead of changing the color when the center of the ball hits the line, but instead when the right side of the ball hits the line? Give it a try.